Hey, if you've been a meme culture for a while, then you know internet historian needs no introduction. He's also super lovely and was happy to do a lesson in meme culture. So sit back, relax, and enjoy his creamy dulcet tones as he gives a lesson on- Whoa! Lessons in meme culture. The woe meme is surreal, colorful, and has the, oh, I remember that, factor. It's a blend of old and new. Source material from late 90s video games with a creme de menthe dash of meme culture from three years ago. Suitable for any occasion. It was birthed out of the meme hole and into prominence in 2017 during the We Are Number One era, around the same time as the majestic Shooting Stars compilations when they were all the rage. Although, it was actually conceived a year prior, in 2016, by Oni during his playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. He would repeatedly say, whoa, 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 during the gameplay, and that whoa caught on. It's just one of those sounds that kind of gets stuck in your head and goes around and around and around. Whoa. The fact that Oni created this meme is significant, as he has been a major influence on meme culture since he joined YouTube in 2008 and Newgrounds in 2006. During the early years of his career as an animator and musician, he mostly dabbled in creating videos that used random humor, which was hugely popular in the 2000s, and it foreshadowed the surreal and bizarre direction memes would go in the future. However, as time went on, after Oni's 2016 playthrough of Crash Bandicoot, the Whoa. sound effect began resonating across the internet. Then the variations came. On April 25th, 2017, Reddit user Some Stash Man posted a Whoa. variant of the guys with hair like this meme. Then, in July of that year, Oni posted a video of himself dubbing over a slightly animated Crash Bandicoot with his own voice, making the signature <laughs> noise. The next day, animator Chris Patstone used Oni's voice to dub the animation most people are now familiar with. That of Crash looking sad, right, and then he gets more excited, and then he flies face first into the camera. Ten days later, after spreading the woe meme juices all over the face and down the unwashed chin of the internet, what is the lessons? Why'd you write the script like this? Chris released a green screen version of Crash, saying, Whoa. which increased the meme's accessibility to other creators. After a solid month of popularity, the meme naturally began to die off. And with its death came one of the great shitstorms to grace YouTube. Talking about became one of the straws that broke behind the meme's back. Behind the meme uploaded a video about Whoa. on August 4th, 2017, and in it there were several mistakes, including mispronouncing Wone's name, as well as referring to these as peaches when they're clearly apples. However, the general consensus now is that the hate bandwagon surrounding behind the meme really did go too far. And I miss him, to be honest. And also, please come back. Closing statement. When most people think of the oh. meme, they look back fondly on something that lived and died as a weird product of the internet's relationship with video games and surreal humor. And that's the end. What meme would you guys like lesson in meme culture give lesson in next? Let him know in the comments below. Leave a like. I'm not saying that. Check out Internet Historian's Twitch. What? Who put twitch.tv slash Internet Historian in this script? I can't say that. It's stuff, it's stuff. You're embarrassing me. I can't plug myself on one of your videos. You're making me blush. Here's the big man Tyrone outro. And remember, like and subscribe. <laughs>